menus. You know how yeah, if you uh, press your button menu, you see the buttons you can select? Yes. There is support. Is there a way to have pages of that or something, or is that another thing? Uh, I don't think you can have pages. What, who would yeah. want pages of that? You don't so I can want have pages. one page for regular things and one page for soundboard. Like oh. I can have all kinds of sounds for you. you. You could eventually make a button that switches the GUI. Yes, you can. You can switch pages. You can have multiple pages, but that's like complicated stuff. Oh, uh, actually, it's not something I can. It's inconvenient, isn't it? It's something that I would have to take the time to show you. And I don't want to take the time to show you. Now. <laughs> <laughs> You're a monster. Uh, I guess we could show everyone, but I don't. I, it's 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 quite, it's um specific, so to speak. But I'm gonna make it anyway. Uh, you can watch the stream. I'll show you the people in the stream who Coming don't. Now? Right now. Oh, apparently. So I'm gonna create a button, add a button, and to that button, I will not just give it any text. I will call it switch. Uh, GUI, um, switch GUI, and I'm gonna give it a random grey color. If I can find a grey color, there we go, a nice greyish color. But I need a stream bot, what do you mean a stream bot? Um, just a bot that you can. There we go, so I'm gonna switch GUI and um, assign it a um, some a text, so bear with me. Uh, I'm gonna assign it a script. Are you doing this at the same time as me? I'm, I'm looking at what you're doing. Okay, yes, and I'm gonna call this switch uh, gy dot text because that's what I want it to be called, and I will remember that. Okay, I think I think that's the way it is. Okay, now save and now to create a new text called uh, switch gy. Great. Okay, and now you want to so when it it it's clicked, it will um. I think show GUI and then you put the GUI that you want. So the screen and the, the screen screen it will show a custom GUI screen. So um, I'm good. I'm just gonna have a look at my um, at my GUIs um, that I currently have. So if I was to go here GUI editor, you have all your GUIs and I have an in chat empty uh, stuff like that. I'm gonna call it sabot I uh, mind shot because okay, I know I've got. Yeah, I've got. I've. I know I've got stuff on the um, the mind shot one. So I'm gonna. I'm gonna be using that one. So I'm gonna go for. I'm gonna put the mind shot on the playback screen. At the moment, I'm currently using the Show default. GUI is a command. Okay, and yes, it is a command. And so I will go to switch to UI and um, put it in playback. Um, I I I. I hope I'm getting the order right. It could be the other way around, where it could be the screen that you want, and then, um, so I hope I get this work. I hope this works. Um, right. So if I switch to UI, it'll 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 show the playback UI, which is this one, and there um, okay. And there's no there's no button on the playback UI. It just created a new UI called playback. So I'm gonna add another button, and this button I'm gonna call it. Um, switch GUI again to switch back. I'm gonna also color it in 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 gray. You can modify the numbers to the gray that you want, and that one will <coughs> run a uh, switch GUI two or something like that. So just very quickly enclose the brackets, and you want it to run the switch GUI. Um, this one I'm not gonna call it switch GUI. I'm gonna Call it switch GUI cube because I want it to switch to the cube back to the cube GUI dot txt. Uh, save that and go back to the uh, normal text editor if I can find it. There we go. Oh, oh look, there we go. And when you switch GUI, you have a second page with a button called switch GUI. There you go. And now to make it switch back to the original because that's probably something else you want. You'd want to go in the text editor and you'd go down and create a new file called switch and GUI cube and create and you just put the invert of what you had done before which was uh, show show GUI and then you'd want to uh, it's not playback it would be the um, the default so D default done. Save. There we go. 
So now when I click switch to UI, I can switch this to the default and this is I think you forgot to have like C on the switch to UI thing. Yeah, exactly. That That is exactly what I did. So let's uh, just exit that and uh, capsulize it real quick. De uh, decapitalize it. <laughs> there we go. And you can now switch between the two GUIs. Started choking on air. Do you see it? You can now have two pages. Gain you. Okay. Alright. So I knew it was possible, I and I ended up and I ended up doing it. I'm just gonna move this in the bottom corner. And I'm also gonna I'm gonna change this GUI um, here so that this Whoa. button is a bit. That's so cool. Yeah. Okay, so um, I'm gonna also ch snap, change the grid if I can find the grid. There is adjust the grid. And so cool. uh, I think it was 13 by a bit more, seven uh, no sticks, 13, 14. There you go, okay, and move this back. So it's got exactly the same size as the other one, so it doesn't... Oh, actually the size, is a... the size changes a little bit. So this one's a bit smaller than this one, so I'm gonna change the grid on this one. Just quickly make it a bit bigger. Okay, and move it down. Okay, there we go. So now, when it switches the GUI, it will switch the... between the two pages, basically. Anything you want. 